Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, or good evening, or good night, depending on what time you're watching this. It is April 10th, Monday, 2023. It is 7.32 in the morning. Okay, this is part 12, chapter 1, Nicholas Sparks, True Believer. Jeremy was silent for a moment before finally sh shrugging. Fine, he said. He glanced at Alvin. I'm leaving on Tuesday. See if you can get there by next Friday. I'll call you before then with the details. Alvin reached for his beer and took a drink. Well, golly, he said, mimicking Gomer Pyle. I'm off to the land of grits and chitlins, and I promise my bill won't be too high. Jeremy laughed. You ever been down south? Nope. You? I visited New Orleans and Atlanta, Jeremy admitted, but those are cities, and cities are pretty much the same everywhere. For this story, we're heading to the real south. It's a little town in North Carolina, a place called Boone Creek. <laughs> you should see the town's website. It talks about the azaleas and dogwoods that bloom in April and proudly displays a picture of the town's most prominent citizen, a guy named Norwood Jefferson. Who? Alvin asked. A politician. He served in the North Carolina State Senate from 1907 to 1916. Who cares? Exactly, Jeremy said with a nod, glancing across the bar. He noticed with disappointment that the redhead was gone. Where is this place exactly? Right between the middle of nowhere and where are we exactly? I'm staying at the place called Greenleaf Cottages, which the Chamber of Commerce describes as scenic and rustic yet modern. Whatever that means, Alvin asked. Sounds like an adventure. Don't worry about it. You'll fit, in, you'll fit right in down there, I'm sure. You think so? Jeremy noted the leather tattoos and piercings. Oh, absolutely, Jeremy said. They'll, they, they'll probably want to adopt you. That's all for chapter one. And that's all for part 12. Nicholas Sparks, True Believer. Thank you for watching.